Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Now, as many people have requested, I have a video now in the Fusion Forge. Fusion Forge, not Forge. Okay, I'm going to explain to you now how this works. So, it's really simple now, now that they've changed it. So, basically, each public order item, each objective item, corresponds to an experience level. So, for example, a 360 public order corresponds to level 52 infusion. And that's just a standard level as soon as you win it. 285 public order is level 37 as soon as you win it. 325 is level 45. But what the fusion does, the fusion forge does, is it allows you to upgrade the fusion level and therefore be let you upgrade the public order. Because the public order is proportional to the fusion level um, for simple terms. So this one, 52 XP, um, 360 public order. This one, same. This one is level 59 because I've upgraded it by seven levels, which increases the public order by 35. But it doesn't affect the might points, but it doesn't matter. It's all about increasing the public order so let's click on this one let's upgrade this one so you can click on fusion upgrade or you can click on where's my mouse doing that we can click on this and then you can choose any decorative item you want but i'm going to choose the one in Erebor and um, outpost name that is and then you need to click on a source so these i don't have any you can buy them but this percentage here it shows you like the yield that will increase it by so this is 13 percent so it's a good one they gave some free ones for this um, and i've won some anyway from events and then the catalyst this also improves the yield um so yeah yeah you can assemble them from dust is basically what it's saying there um i haven't actually clicked on the help guide but i i don't know if it's that useful or not. and you don't even need it um so you click on this this will increase the fusion xp by this much and it has a bonus xp and this is the chance of the bonus xp so the higher level the catalyst the higher level the xp hold on let me just check that <laughs> well i assume so but either way fusion xp it doesn't seem to be going up depending on the catalyst i think it's dependent on the source yeah, it's dependent on the source. So the source is what decides the fusion XP. So if you use these decorative items, do not use it because the XP is rubbish. Use these ones that you can win in events. And then the catalyst increases the chance of bonus XP. So I'm going to use... So the catalyst doesn't really matter, to be honest. It's the source that is the main thing. Uh, I mean, it helps, but it's all about the source. So let's go use this level 8 catalyst. 21% um, bonus XP chance fusion fusion confirm selection. So now premium fusion costs rubies, and it just it you know it makes it a bit better. But this is going to be 390 or 395. So on the other public order, I got the bonus XP because I used the higher level catalyst, and that is why it's 395. But this might be 390. So let's just go ahead. You do need fusion coins and glass, but that comes pretty easy. And you win loads of fusion coins in events anyway. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Fusion complete. 134 out of 305. Level 58. So let's go see what this is now. That's 390. So that means I didn't get the bonus XP. So if I did get the bonus XP, it would be level 59. 395 public order. But it's 390. Now, what you need to do though is to upgrade that even more. You need to upgrade your this thing, your fusion, your forge level, and to do that you need decoration dust. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So it's now level 13, and you need more of this decoration dust to level it up. Now I want to try and get mine ideally around 4,000 fusion energy capacity because that will help you quite a lot. And fusion coins they can quite um quite a lot and they're not really that rare. What is rare though is this decoration dust. 
which costs eight fusion coins. I don't think it's worth buying unless you have like thousands of fusion coins. Um, but I prefer to just get it from events and stuff. And obviously, if you're a Ruby Whale, you can go ahead and buy some. Um, these fusion parks are really good, um, and these fusion gardens are really good as well. But yeah, these are a lot better than the castle gardens, the fusion gardens, fusion parks. The fusion gardens are a lot better than fusion parks um, because that's a level 125 and this is level 100. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can disassemble de 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 these into like decoration dust and stuff, but I don't really advise you do that. I mean, unless you got loads of catalysts, loads of low level ones, I can see why you would want to um, disassemble those. Or disassemble those. Um, so yeah, say if I want to do this one now, I can't because I need the fusion energy to be full. Now you can recharge it by using rubies. It's only 500. It's quite cheap. Um, so yeah, I I'm I'm not gonna do that though. It's better to just wait it out. Um, unless like you need public order urgently, but can't see why you would need that urgently. Um, so if you want to disassemble disassemble something you just go here click on that how many you want to disassemble you do need fusion energy to disassemble something though and you get decoration dust out of it so it's worth doing if you want to upgrade your forge um, but I'm just gonna wait it out to be honest because they're still making changes to this I'm not sure if they'll change it soon might they might not yeah, but anyway my public order is pretty high here 352 percent reproduction is okay this is my second best outpost um would be higher if I obviously replace these 285s with 325s and the 325s with 360s and the 360 with 395s that would that would be really overpowered but yeah it's, this is going to take a while to upgrade all your decorative items but the fusion forge is definitely worth doing and is definitely good anyway check out my loot okay anyway guys that was it thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.